Hi, my name is Anita Carlton, and I'm the Director of the Software Solutions Division with your SCI Cyber Minute. Today, I'd like to briefly talk about assuring cyber physical systems. A cyber physical system is a computer system that interacts with the physical world, airplanes, elevators, cars, missiles, and so on. The laws of physics govern behavior. There's a physical aspect to the system, real time matters, and of course, safety matters. Many autonomous systems, think of self-driving cars or drones, are cyber physical systems. When systems were sufficiently small and properly designed, they could be more or less statically analyzed for important properties using mathematical methods. But the cyber physical systems of today are too unpredictable and too complex to gain complete or almost complete confidence during development and test that they behave correctly, safely, and securely. So how do we deploy these kind of systems that are critical for our national defense rapidly and with sufficient confidence that they will behave safely? To get unproven innovations into the field safely, you need confidence that they're going to behave the way you want, or at least not cause harm. When safety critical systems get too complex to mathematically prove that they are correct, you have a problem. Either you field them quickly with insufficient confidence or you test the heck out of them, which takes way too much time. The SCI research focuses on the use of an enforcer, a little program that is proven to be mathematically correct, which watches and enforces the correctness of the safety of the much bigger program. We're able to do this because the enforcer only focuses on verifying critical properties, for example, safety, to ensure nothing bad will happen. Enforcers are simple enough to be proven correct, composable, check output at runtime to assure safe action, and if the output is unsafe, transform unsafe action into a conservative safe action. So consider a simple example, an Amazon drone, or a drone that's confined to some region. The safety condition is don't bump into buildings, walls, or people. The enforcer watches the output of the flight controller and looks for potentially dangerous commands, commands that could result in the drone violating its safety condition. If the command is safe, the enforcer doesn't interfere. But if the command is potentially unsafe, the drone intercepts the command and substitutes a safe command, such as hover or possibly go back to the warehouse in this example. Since the enforcer's behavior has been mathematically proven to be correct, we're able to formally verify that the bigger program will never violate its safety condition using runtime verification techniques. In conclusion, enforcers allow us to verify critical properties of cyber physical systems in a scalable and composable way that leads to a reduction in cost and time in the development and fielding of cyber physical systems even when using components that can't be fully verified, for example, machine learning, or when we choose not to verify, including open source software. Thanks for watching this SCI Cyber Minute. For more information, please visit our website or send me an email at info at sci.cmu.edu.